so again, uh, hello again. Uh, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, it's, my name is Ricardo Palmieri, I'm from Brazil. Uh, I broke some old stuff that I, I was producing since 2011, just to share with you. I don't, uh, I, I'm afraid that maybe I don't have any new solution, any new technology to show you. But my goal here is more to listen from you because I know here, I suppose here you have more researchers in this brainwave uh, area. And I uh, would be glad if you participate. And in fact, I, pref I, I would like to do this in a, in a kind of circle, should be better. But I'll start showing some, some of my stuffs, my photos and videos and after we can open the discussion if you affordable for you um i just plug in my computer and you can start okay just give me uh, one minute You have an announcement if you want to do it now, it's, uh, we, we earn some time.
So, um, thank you for your, all your pre all here presence. Um, I, I yesterday supposed to have this speech in another place, and we had a, a small lack of information, and I I didn't show. I have a <laughs> no show in the <laughs> my speech, so they changed for today. So apologize for this misunderstood. So I try to do my best today. And I think today it will be better to talk about all these things because at the end, uh, tonight, uh, starting at 10 p.m., we have uh, an installation in the main street. We have the the Russian truck. Have you heard the, the green Russian truck? Behind it, we have um, a, a white tent with some plastic bags and we we have a interactive immersive installation with using this system that I show here today. So all of you are, are invited to be there tonight to try the system and play with some dolphins. We we, we broke some dolphins to <laughs> to play here with us. Um, so first of all, uh, I would like to introduce my, my background because I'm not. Uh, um, I haven't studied program. I haven't studied engineering. Engineering. I'm an architect. Um, I learned to build houses. I learned to build cities. I learned to build this kind of thing. But um, after uh, when I finished my the university, I start to work with this kind of uh, traditional architecture, and I was very disappointed because in the university. I had uh, lots of teachers who tried to um, push us to think out of the box and we try to think out of the box in Brazil, uh, especially in the building houses, building buildings. We suffered by the, um, uh, by the lobby of the um, builders, the big builders. They, they have the right way to do. If you do different, th uh, the government doesn't allow you to build. Even if you spend like, uh, like I did, spend one year researching and try to approve in new materials, different uh, new stuff in with the government. Even if the government approve it, you have a problem with the builder because the builder doesn't know how to manage that kind of material. So I was very disappointed with that, and I and I changed my my point of view and start to working inside the art field. So some people from theater and dance uh, start to call me to produce some scenography and they bring some some issues to me like uh, the dancer who wants to put her foot in some place in the stage and suddenly that lights and at the same time lights and videos change in the stage. So they come with this these troubles to me and I start to research how to solve it. I remember my first experience in, in with that was in 2001. Uh, we have exactly this issue with the um, dancer who wants a uh, sensor on the floor. And in Brazil, we didn't have this technology. Uh, w we found some uh, sensors from, German, from Germany, and these sensors cost like 300 euros at this time. So it's uh, quite expensive for a Brazilian. We have this a difference of four times from our money to euros, so it was quite impossible to work with this. So we decided to find some solution and we use like um, plastic, uh, plastic shapes with aluminum foil and cables uh, soldered in a keyboard, uh, a key, uh, a keyboard board and you have like pressing keys inside the stage, you could change the videos using a VJ2, for example. So at this time, I, I started to work inside the, the stage and working as VJ and visual jockey. Um, after a few years doing this, doing trying to find this kind of solutions, um, I was invited to join an amazing team that is, it was 2000, 2003, 2004, when we had at this point in Brazil a, a new minister of culture who was Gilberto Gil, maybe you heard about, he's a famous musician in Brazil. 
and he guys when he, when he arrives in the minist ministry of culture he decide to do a big change in what uh, means culture in brazil and he create a special team to find uh, to locate 304 places who was producing culture but who hasn't any kind of funds from government uh, all of them are work by themselves and try to preserve the countryside culture from different different uh, regions of brazil from the north from the northeast that are the most poor regions that we have in brazil and so i joined this team and our work was to fund in in, in each of these places a multimedia studio that we have a special equipments for audio recording for for uh, to record bands or whatever you want a studio a video studio to editing a graphic design studio and recycling computers studio uh, but all of this using only open source tools so to me it was a big change in my life uh, I used to work with uh, proprietary tools, but at this point we decide just to work with open source. And we spent like six months, one year, trying to migrate, doing this migration from platforms to another. And at the end we did an, an, a nice work. Like uh, during four years we travel all Brazil. Uh, uh, Brazil have 26 states. Uh, I visit 24 of them. And most of the time, we sleep inside these places, in, in, in very far regions, in very poor places. And it's not about to be a tourist, but try to understand the r real situation of the locals. So it, it uh, blow my mind again. And after this seven, uh, these four years working together with these guys, I start to become a kind of activist by osmosis because i was inside this this speech and i was giving this speech for everybody and, and i changed my my productions my, my tools to production to open source but in this time it was 2007 2008 i had another issue that it was we have a um, a change in technology in video technology that was we came from we used to have the sd format and it changed to 8d format and at that point our tools that we we have to use we we use it all the time in, in linux um wasn't so good to 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 flow this video in a nice way like we have drop frames or have some different issues um so i st i, I have to change a little bit to to proprietary tools but most of time i use proprietary tools just to play videos all the interactive that i want to do i continue to use open source tools um i just talk about this i think it's important to rep to explain what uh, we show tonight and what i show you here later and after that, in 2011, uh, I, I ingressed in, the, um, in a course, it's a master co master's course in Brazil called uh, Digital Design and Intelligence Technologies. So it's, um, it's a program with masters, do uh, doctors, and PhDs. So I ingressed in the, in the, at, the, at the time in, this, in the program, and it was uh, quite strange because the first class that I had was uh, about um, synesthesia. Synesthesia, it's yeah. okay. Synesthesia, and uh, all the PhD and doctors that was inside the class never touch in her life in the EEG equipment. So I asked him, "What I'm doing here? Because I have lots of these amazing guys with lots of diplomas and stamps." And I don't. I, I just have my architecture stamps, and I I could. I had an idea how to build one of these device, but I never tried before. So those guys simulated me. No, if you produce something, we could use in your labs, and if you produce it, we could even give you uh, a scholarship to keep your research. 
wow, amazing. I could, I, there, there was my 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 desire to have a scholarship because at this point I, I was paying the the course, and it was a quite expensive course. So I decided to do my first experience. Uh, my first experience was something like uh, this project that I would like to show you, that has instructables. When you took this toy from Mattel, it's called um, uh, what's the name? Mindflex. It's a game basically where you have a, a crystal head and you could control a, a blower that could flow a little ball and you have a kind of maze and you have to dra drag the ball uh, in the maze using your head. They also have an, uh, another toy, it's, it's about uh, Star Wars, you have two Jedis and have to battle with your brains. So it's quite funny, uh, toys but it's just toys. So the trick was to put the, um, the mind flex with Arduino. With that I could read uh, basically 10, uh, 10 datas from this toy. The basically eight uh, data from the NEEG is the alpha, beta, theta, and gamma height and low frequencies. Also, he gives me, uh, um, automatically gives me, has a, an ins inside the microchip has a, an algorithm who gives me the f ne level of attention and level of meditation. So, I, with this I had a, a kind of EEG. It's a toy, it's low frequency, low frequency, but works as a prototype. So I, bro I, I bring it to the university, so I build it. But we have, I, I think I have a, a nice picture of me wearing this device. Let me show you. It's a quite weird device at the end. Because <laughs> but the Arduino and have the USB still. Of course, we could prov put some Bluetooth or something like that in the Arduino. But at this point, I didn't have enough money because I had to pay the university. <laughs> so I just took what I have in my home. I, I found this uh, uh, second-hand MindFlex on eBay, and I could import it into Brazil. So I, uh, at the end, I paid more in taxes to have it in Brazil than from the toy. The toy costs like $30. And I pay like ninety dollars from taxes. It's amazing to live in Brazil and to work with technology. So um, with this toy, I I, I went back to the university and show to the doctors. Okay, let's play with EEG now. And the guys, wow! But he doesn't know what to do with the <laughs> brain waves. So okay, I back to my home and keep working with that, trying to figure out what I could do with that, and. When I was working with this, I, I have this feeling looking to the, I was using processing, you know this, you know this software? It's a, it's a, a kind of uh, uh, artist uh, ID for, to uh, artists to program. It's quite simple to produce, produce images. If you are the designer, if in, in in four hours you can produce interactivity. It's quite simple too. And I, I was working with this tool at this point. And um, I found um, a library that uh, allowed me to get this data from the, the Arduino and I could split it in frequencies. And when I was looking to these graphs, I, I feel like if I was traveling a train, you know, because you have this small mountains and big mountains passing on the train window so I figured out how could I put this in a more artistical way because reading more about EEG I, I, I discovered that this is not a EEG this is just a toy I have low frequency I cannot be um, very precise with this these waves but for artistical pur purposes looks like a nice two at this moment. So I created at the time the my, my first installation. Uh, that is this one. This is Neuroscape. So with Neuroscape I could uh, get this kind of images. So it's a bunch of graphics at first point, but if you 
remove the idea of graphics and put inside an installation that you are talking about uh, trains and windows and landscapes uh, you can play with the situation I don't know if you understand what I, I'm trying to mean but it's about to change the from the technician to the art uh, thinking and also I, I produce um, an audio tool that gets this data and start to producing some um, uh, synthetical sounds. Okay. I, I now I can show you some videos about this. Okay, this is uh, the first... Uh, just I think I don't have sound. Just a minute. Just do a sound check. Yeah, I have to change here. So this was in. Uh, the first exhibition of the installation was in, um, is a festival that we had uh, we used to have in Brazil. Uh, it's called the Live Cinema, and they invite people who works with uh, live image, the creation of Im uh, real time images. It's not about to VJ, but uh, it's to change in real time, the create uh, synth synthesis in real time. So uh, I apply my project in this in this uh, exhibition, in this festival and people could just wear the... the oh, sorry, I, 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 I jump a little bit because when I, I decide to do it as an installation I have this problem to people put that huge device in the head and it was a kind of uncomfortable because it has the, uh, an, an elastic whistle so it's it's not s so good, well, it hurt m m the front all the time. So I discovered uh, uh, another kind of quite cheapest uh, device that is this from uh, the company called NeuroSky. I think you heard about this is the... This is the first, I think it's first or second version of the build. It's called MindWave. And it's quite simple. It's, it's the same principle of the mind flex. You have two points to connect in your head. One point you connect in your ear, and another is stay on the front. So this sensor. one sensor is the front. The another one is here, and you we are like this. And you can plug in the ground here. So. So quite simple. It's light, um, has an imp uh, 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 a nice thing that it's a toy also. So you don't have to calibrate it. it they have a self calibration in, f in. I think if I'm not wrong, I think in, in ten seconds it has an auto calibration. So for installations was amazing because you have lots of people passing in and wearing this like uh, f three minutes at the maximum and change to another people from audience so was quite uh, funny to to the situation but my my main project was with three screens can you see here this is my 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 first uh, sketch of the the installation was something like you keep there boring and almost sleeping and the landscapes coming passing to you like if you was inside a train navigating so the the i think you have some some image like that. Now she is using the the same device that I'm using now. It happens in 2012. I, I started the, that masters in 2011. So after one year, I was with this work and the um, running with this work around Brazil. And also how the the doctors from the university, they haven't found how to work with that brain waves. So I didn't earn my, I didn't earn my scholarship. So I abandoned the masters and I prefer to keep the research as an artist more than a scientist.
in fact, we have in Brazil this problem with scientists. The most important scientists in Brazil are not in Brazil anymore. Uh, and the newer, uh, newer scientists are just leaving Brazil. Last week, our, our new president, he decided to cut all the scholarships from the university, from the graduation. And we have this problem increasing in Brazil about education. So it's very important, I'm talking about the situation in Brazil, it's important to say that um, we have this lack of technology not only because the, um, because by, by the taxes from, uh, to import technologies and also because our scientists are always producing outside of Brazil, uh, but also have a lack in education, like the, for, for the basic formal education uh, kids are still learning mathematics. Are they are my grandfather learned mathematics uh, 60, 70 years ago. So we, we are trying to change it in the points like work with kids in the neighborhood out of the school. But the normal school has the several rules that you cannot change, and, and the teachers earning shit salary, so they doesn't care about to change anything. So we have the, uh, a, a, a terrible situation in, in Brazil. Uh, of course, for this reason, we have to improvise. Uh, we have a, a nice word in Portuguese that is gambiarra. I would like to write to you this word. It's something like improvisation, ex extreme improvisation. So we love to use uh, silver tape and <laughs> and wires and hot glue, this kind of tools to build houses to build, <laughs> you know, because it doesn't have access to nice technologies. Now we have some Chinese people moving to Brazil. They have uh, lots of uh, cheap stuff like chips, are cheapest Arduino, cheapest chips, li chips like that. So people are booking buy it in affordable price but most of time it's twice the, the price you pay here in Europe for this kind of device I'm not here to cry about here this but I'm here to say that we, we are trying we still trying to be creative and competitive in the world not about competition but to be on the same level but we, we have to assume this lack of technology it's a, it's a huge problem I, I'm living in Brazil. I, I, I travel not uh, not travel not so much around uh, outside of Brazil. I travel too much inside Brazil, and I try to to show to the children that it's possible to do things like disassembling uh, old material and resoldering stuffs, and try to understand what is happening inside this black box that we bought every day. Um, I'd like to show another another video that after that uh, maybe some pictures just fast pictures this is this was my my mentor in the in the masters he is a musician now so he's trying to play and detect uh, what's going on in his brain this was in a, it's not a university this is in a party in brazil it's a a, a um, kind of uh, techno hacker party at Saturday night and they just put the system there and people could come and ask you what's going on and they could explain and test it together. But it, it happens more in, in part parties than in the university, you know, it's quite weird. But uh, and here we are, he's playing the keyboards and here we have people uh, drinking and using drugs and trying to see what happened with her brain in the installation and they really enjoy the experience inside the <laughs> this context you know it's so quite funny like every every time you drink a beer the colors change all the uh, uh, you know so observe uh, i was observing this this behavior of people drinking and it was changing all the time people smoking and changing the, the colors so i decided to transform this this experience in a performance in a and i could perform it with that this this guy is a the super 
drunk, you know, he's wearing the eye. The <laughs> so, and this is the the Rio de Janeiro exhibition. So I decided to transform it in a performance. And I have a little a little video here about this performance. So in this performance I, I change my my state of mind doing different things like um I had uh, a bottle of sake, the Japanese drink. So during the performance I drink a lot sake. Sometimes I stop to drink and I have to cut sushi because I have to be very to be very attentious to cut sushi in the the right way. After uh, I put some music to change my state of mind too. And at a certain point I talk with the audience because it is a different pattern to to mine. And I had it project over my body. This is my, my first session. The, the second session, I changed my clothes to white, so I became part of the screen. It became more interesting, but I just have this documentation from that, that performance. So when I drink, it becomes too purple. When I talk with people, it becomes too blue. When I cut sushi, it becomes too yellow. So it's it's quite funny. It's uh, the, the representation of the state of mind, you know. So it's not so precise as a scientific uh, research, but do you know creates this this how can I say? Create the, the people start to think about what's going on. H how can I move over th this? How ca how can I study that? You know? Okay, uh, but we are discussing about open source tools, right? And at this point, I, I have two problems with open source tools. Because using this device, uh, now they have a new one, the company has a new one that works in Linux. But this one that was cheapest at the time has a special, special um, form to communicate with computer that is using his own dongle. That is a proprietary dongle, but it allows me to read the JSON numbers in a certain way, so I, I can extract the data from the dongle. But it's a kind of Bluetooth, but in, in a different protocol, so it's closed stuff. So if I want to run it in Linux, it sucks. Uh, I try to run it using Wine or something like that, but it doesn't work very well. So I have to change to a proprietary system. Uh, so at this point, I, I, I could uh, join my two problems. That is how to map the video, because in my, my proposal, I, I was using the three screens. So to do that, I have to map, uh, do a kind of video mapping to integrate these screens. And I haven't found at uh, uh, this point a uh, tool in Linux to do that. So I decide to move to, to macOS. Uh, that I, I, I use it to do VJ so and start to use the same tools that I, I use to make VJ to do the installation. So the flow of this installation is something like I have the the device in in the Mac OS X, I have the driver for that. I could read the the, the data from processing that is quite funny to do this graphics and things like that, but I would like to produce music. And I use Puridata. I don't know if you know this uh, software, Puridata. It's, um, it's a nice tool, but also I think in Europe it's a quite old tool. 
I remember in 2000, 2007, I came to uh, I, I, I came to Spain to talk about uh, Pure Data, and, and we, are, we are using a lot in Brazil. And the developers of Pure Data was in, in the in the speak in the speech, and they asked, "What the fuck are you doing with that? We don't use it anymore." But for for us, it's amazing too because uh, it, it's nice. Uh, I can show you the the Pure Data uh, how it works because it's very nice to to show to kids because you have the flow of the information you, you can it's in fact it's a C++ plus uh, behind it but it's a real time program so when you connect this box those box you can have in, in real time things happen like i try to do something uh, here uh, a real time thing i create a new pr a new project where is this shit? Cadet. Okay, I try to do here. I don't know what's going on, but like I'll try to do some basic sound. I think it's. I have to kill it first. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Now we are talking. So um, when you open period data, you have this blank window. And you can start to create your small blocks here. You do some zoom. So I try to do um, here. Um, first of all, I do uh, this small object is a digital analog converter, so I can convert anything from computer to my speakers. Okay. Uh, the data that I use here, I have to amplify to hear it, so I can create some multiplying waves by one and I can just connect those box okay also I need some uh, sound generator so I have here an object called oscillator OSC so in period data you have this tilde objects that means are audio objects and I can just put here and now I have to play this oscillator uh, to play an oscillator you have to use uh, Hertz so for musicians it's not so nice to speak about Hertz for art so we talk about uh, notes uh, in competition we have MIDI notes so I can convert frequencies to MIDI and now I can send uh numbers in fact I, I i did wrong i have to mid two frequencies right and now i could hear something i have i have to turn on my dsp card so now if i put some uh, number here it's a quite simple to program uh, and you have fast results like if I do like the three or four of these I can create uh, uh, tim timber tim timber is tim um, what's the name now the name uh, uh, the quality of the sound of this from timbers timbers so I can do synthesis any kind of synthesis so I have sawtooths I have different kinds of waves and I can do whatever I want um, this version of Pure Data is called PD Extended because it has lots of libraries inside it. It even has uh, libraries for video and for 3D objects, different kinds of things. But um, the process of video is not so fast. This is my, my problem with to do VJ with the open source tool that I, I, I know best better than is PD. So today we are 
teaching kids in Brazil how to use pure data to start the logical thinking. You know how to where you start, where you want to go, and you have the the flow of the information in the visual way. No. So, just to wake up some of you. Um, so I was talking about the flow of the installation. So the installation passed to processing. Who has, who never saw processing? Processing has this, this is interface of processing. So I can program in in a simple Java way. It's based on Java processing, right? And my all my audio stuffs I'm processing using pure data. That is C sharp, but it's made for music. Especially for music, and all my images that I generate in the processing, uh, I use another tool that is called Siphon. I don't know if you heard about it's it's a Mac OS X stuff. It it it, cha it it sends the data from the OpenGL from one software to another software. Uh, so I can render a video in, 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 in my, my desktop, for example, and extract this video and send it to my VJ tool. And with this, I can stretch, do whatever I want with the video. But I still have a problem because I have to communicate between processing and pure data to, they need to have a conversation. So the language they who speak together is OSC. That is a quite different from the oscillator that I showed before. It has a, a little confusion because OSC is the open sound control. It's a, a kind of protocol to that comes to put MIDI in a more, uh, uh, how can I say, in a better way. Because MIDI, you heard about MIDI? MIDI has just uh, always sent three data in MIDI. You have s always three data. It's generally, it's the channel that you are playing, the note that you are playing, and the intensity that you are playing, or some variations of these three numbers. With open sound control, you can send uh, a hundred, if I'm not wrong, it's 128 bits of, of uh, data in a line. And this data is sent using uh, UDP, not TCP, so it's very fast to process. And you can send it thousands of times per second, and if it if you lose some packet, it's quite okay because you are you are more than third frames per second that you are we are used to percept by visual uh, uh, visual sense. So I have this flow. I have the neural sky be written by processing. Processing send data through OSC to pure data. Pure data is playing the audio. And the image generated by processing, I send it by siphon to my video mapping tools. At, at this point, I was using a tool called MedMapper, that is a proprietary tool. I, so it's a proprietary tool. I, I will not open the, the website of them, or you want to check it. It's not a propaganda, I don't know. It's just about knowledge. <laughs> I don't like to do propaganda, but uh, our guys from Switzerland, if I'm not wrong, who produce this this software. Uh, so it's a Mad Mapper. Yeah, so it's super nice uh, uh, software. So all of these video mappings that you are seeing around, you have the the facade festival in Europe, right? That people are doing video maps around the different cities. Most of them uses or uh, uh, MedMapper to do this alignment of images and beauties, or they use another tool. There is the Resolume Arena. I, I think it's European too. Also, I'm not I'm not sure about that, but it's a quite expensive tool. Um, but th this is very nice because it's um, it's not only a, s a VJ software, but also a video mapping software, and also a DMX uh, manager. So you can manage your lights of your stage using this tool. So today I'm using this one because it's it's very fast to do to do this kind of concerts uh, when, when people ask to do. 
so this is my my final my final part of the process so i send my image to here and i can map it anyway like three screens four screens whatever i want depends of my my co my computer in the cardboards um okay but after 2012 to 2013 i i sent uh, i i came with this installation i i, I didn't came to the to netherlands but this Alicia was invited to be part of the OM festival OM in 2013 and I sent all my stuff to people from the organization and they assembled the installation I think was in a kind of castle that somebody built inside the festival and the installation was inside this this castle and after that I never touch again in these technologies I, I, I was working in different uh, stuff uh, by the way, if you want to check my the stuff that I, I used to work, you can see my website. Is this one? It's vj vjpalm.com. So you can see lots of. Uh, I have some commercial work and 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 work like I talk I talk about with the kids, like playing with. Uh, carrots and things like that you know is in uh, maki maki and this kind of uh, simple devices so also working with this idea of gambiarra what is okay and uh, this year um a friend of mine here from from the from the from netherlands he, she invited me to do a partnership she was working with the um, this idea of uh, sustainability and and she was very worried about the the thing about plastic bags so sh sh she realizes how she was trying to build an installation that keeps people worried about the plastic bags the saps the the, the excess of plastic bags that we have around the world so uh, she invited me to be part of the, the team um, and we did this installation that we opened tonight. So this is how I, I plan to finish my, my speak, is inviting you to, to be tonight at the installation and I could show you a little bit more of the boils of the system, how it works. But if you are interested in the neuroscape, uh, I can talk a little bit more. And also, if you want to talk a little bit about your experiences and maybe maybe I could learn something with you. This is my, like I said at the beginning, this is my goal here. I want to learn more than talk. But they they invite me to talk to you. So I'm just sharing my my sim my simple experience but um i think it's about knowledge so it's never we never less we, ne we never lost this kind of things right so i have an open mic if you want to to do questions or tell your stories you are welcome You did your announcement. I, I'm very interested in your PCB Go. Is PCB Go Go, right? Okay. Is it one? Yeah, you want to talk a little bit? It's, it's a very simple PCI. Um, if you wanted an extended advertisement, I can, I can pull up the website. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm hesitant to do this. You take questions about your presentation first, and then I, I'm, no, I'm very happy to. I'm, it's an open mic, so do we have questions? <laughs> Okay, nice. Hi, yeah, hello. Um, so the installation you build now is with this toy you have on the table, or? Yeah, I'm still using this toy because yeah. uh, in last time in OM, uh, they, they bought here one of these devices, and I still have one of these in Brazil, so we decide to be uh, cheapest, work in the cheapest way, so we are just uh, recycling <laughs> the technology. Of course, uh, um, I would like to have the new one. Or, or uh, now I I'm interested in this one. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it was a quite a, a quite expensive the the mobile version of this one so we decided to bring here the, the same equipment All right um and another thing you remarked about uh, video mapping i was thinking if you want to do it cheap i i, I didn't do uh, the experience yet but with blender which is an open source 3d animation software there are some plugins to map things and i i I wouldn't be surprised if it would be possible to use Blender for video mapping. It would not be as advanced as those commercial packages because they are just tuned to quickly set up a gig and 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 and, and make it working. But I think it would be possible with Blender. So if you want to investigate cheap open source things, mm -hmm. yeah. I think that would be a good direction. I had some experience with Blender like uh, ten years ago, eight years ago. But now uh, uh, I still have Blender in my computer, but I use Blender to just to model things because it became my, my tool to model. It's, it's quite simple to model things that it's amazing. But I, I, I never try, try it, but I, I look for. I know that uh, w most of the time I use Blender because now I'm using another technology that is Unity. Unity. I think you heard about. Uh, Unity, it's, it's a super cool technology. It's, it's not open source. But the scripts you can share it, C sharp and JavaScript, and I, I, I use it a lot. Um, and also, I, I have a friend of mine. He's he's pro he's producing a, a tool called the uh, Blend Dome. So it's a it's a tool to make video mapping in domes, and he's using Unity to do that. So Unity has this siphon uh, in input. So you can send your data from any VJ software, any any software, to this uh, Blend Dome, and you can put in the spherical projection. Um, but I look for that because you have the so probably you use the game engine of Blender to do that, I suppose. Well, you could, uh, yeah, I, I would imagine you could do use the the game engine of Blender. But I, I, I think there, there have been in the past some uh, people that have uh, projected with Blender on the dome also. So these uh, possibilities are there, but it would not be as streamlined as with the commercial things. But it, I think y you could make it uh, like that. Yeah. And there's a plugin specifically that you could look at. It's called Blam, B-L-A-M, um, which can you can use to m uh, map stuff on on objects so i will take, I'll take a look I, I i think i heard about this blam but I, well, I, I, just I check it out yeah, yeah. <laughs> um also I, I i have this this comment about blender because uh, i have a uh, lots of friends from that uh, that work with me in the open source context that i was t telling you in, in the ministry in the when you work to the ministry of culture that are super Python guys and Blender. Blender most of time it's Python, uh, but when you when you go to this commercial tools, people just uh, don't ca doesn't care about Python. That is a super powerful, and they uh, just want to use uh, C sharp. Come on, uh, and JavaScript and this kind of things. You know, it's it's uh, just a comment to because I I um, I pass here th this way in a few tents and I, f I, f I saw people talk about Python. And I'm very excited about Python, but you know, have this this lack. So it's today in, in Brazil, the guys who work with Python, I have like three or four friends. Most of the other friends are living outside of Brazil, producing things with Python, but in Europe or in the United States, most of time, you know. Thank you. Uh, any more questions or comments or histories? Feel free, guys. Thank you. I would have a question how this does work actually because yesterday we have been in a talk and the guy was I think he was building these interfaces and he said it's extremely it's it's actually not very precious uh, the, the precision is not very good so and I think this toy can't give you very good EEG, is it like that? It's yeah. This is this is the point because uh, uh, this is the reason because I change f to artistical way. You know, because it's not so precise. I can put this to it to work. Maybe it should be nice to s to y to you see it. So le just let me. 
I suppose I have to close processing, but let's try without closing. So just plug your dongle, turn on your device, and if you have the proprietary games, it starts to work. But now I'm, I'm using a homemade code, so <laughs> okay. most sometimes doesn't work like the commercial stuff. But let's try. I have it plugged. He has um, a special socket, uh, uh, has um, uh, a software that can read it and convert the data to JSON socket. And the, the, this code will just, uh, I have the a library inside this code. There is this, let me zoom a bit. Too many things in my hands. Oh, I, need, I need more hands. Here we have this uh, special library for that, you know, so it read the serial port and can get this data. And all the other things is uh, I uh, just send this data to OS, OSC, OSC, Open Sound Control. For this reason, I have this OSC library and have the network library. So when I play it, It's supposed to work, and and when it works, it became blue, but still not blue. I think I have to close the software and open again. Okay, I just open again. Just a minute. Ah, and also have this thing about processing because processing, when I started to work with processing in 2002, 2003, uh, we had the 1.0 version. And after a few months, a few two years, they have 1.5. After five years, the version 2. And now we have the version 3 that is amazing with OpenGL and. You can use this device as Kinect uh, 2 or can use multiple Kinect to, 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 to do installations. It's amazing too. But my library, uh, the library is from this guy. This guy doesn't work in the new <laughs> process anymore. So let me open the. Take it, take it. It's here. Okay. So this is the sketch. Let's start again. have to become blue come on doesn't want to work I have some message there just and no, it's quite just a just mm. one question is it does it work the same like this pure data you showed that you are stimulating with an oscillator and changing the colors or yeah, but now I'm, I'm doing in, in cold format, not in that blocks, like I saw before. The, the IDE is a, a little bit different. But uh, yeah, here I'm doing the code. Th this, this is not the neural, let me open the neural escape. Uh, because this one supposed to just to, uh, this is what I, I'm using this installation here. It just mm -hmm. read the data and send it to OSC, right? But I open the, the neuroscape one. Let me try this. Let's see it. Come on, be blue. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Yeah, man, it's proprietary stuff, shit. Oh, uh, I let's do. I, I try. I try to a repair. Hmm? You will show it in the evening, anyway. Or yeah, I, yeah. Su I suppose okay. to show <laughs> at the evening. But if, in fact, you have the, the sometimes uh, because I was using it before the the the, sp the speed the speak. Uh, I close just close the computer and open again. Sometimes I have to do a, a repairing of the device. So 
I have to forget this device and pair it again. So this is one of the process that you have to do. So he just try to find the dongle. And sometimes doesn't find the dongle. Time out. It's I have some issue here with serial port probably. No, the PG doesn't use anything. I could close it, but not he's not using the the serial port or whatever. I, I may, maybe I have to restart the computer because I'm Mac OS. If I was in Linux, I could just close the uh, shut the door and you know this kind of thing. I now found the device. Okay. <laughs> okay, the device is here and it's paired. And here is the code of Neuroscape. Uh, let me check if the serial port is the same. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Let's try. It's blue. I was not lying. Look, uh, he's still not working because I, I didn't plug in my ear, so I, I need the ground to start the process. I suppose, I'm not sure, but I, I suppose that this device works on something like um, a galvanic system. Like it, it sends some uh, small voltage to to your head with lower amperage and uh, depends of how the variation of the voltage back to the ground he tried to to split in the waves i suppose it works like this, this is i research i read something like but i'm not sure well you have some things there no i'm very i'm very uh, excited now <laughs> I'm a little nervous because we have more yellow. If I drink, if I drink, uh, it's not a good idea because I have installation to finish. But if I drink now, it becomes purple for sure. Now if I keep if I keep talking with you, it becomes a little bit blue, a little bit uh, purple. I'm not seeing the colors now, but uh, probably something like that or not. Blue, purple, less yellow or too much yellow. Not so much, yellow. yeah. I'm I'm with a weak mind. I think it's just a, a small of the screen. But just to 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 show the thing about siphon, if you are interested, we have this application. For example, it's a siphoner. Oops, siphoner. It's siphoner. It's uh, super cool because you can choose a different. Uh, Applications open in your in your computer, and like I can take the brain, and it becomes to send this data to OSC, now to to Siphon, sorry, and I I can get this image like I can open a Siphon recorder. It's another application. Where is Siphon recorder? Doesn't open. Siphon recorder. Okay. This is Siphon Recorder. Like the name say, it's just a Siphon Recorder. It's just receiving the data from OpenGL, from the video card, and render it in real time. Like you see, it's, it's real time. Uh, it's changing here, it's changing here, it's changing here. Because all of these images are being processed by the OpenGL in, in, the, in the GPU. So it's super nice process to, to work. And you can record it to become a, uh, a video file. When you record, the, he it just uh, minimizes to avoid the process, the sex excess of processing. And when I stop, he asks me. He don't ask me anything. He just record the video on the I think in the desktop. Let me open this video. It's uh, quite confusing because I have the, uh, the same. Interface same same uh, Windows in different interface. I close it. Oh, I can open the sound out also from PD. So 
just a moment. Here I have my brainwave receiver. Yeah, it's a super cool. So I can just open the the tap. This is the sound of my brain. A little drop it, but uh, I don't know why it's dropping, but it's, I think I have too much things open here. And here is the video that Siphon recorded, just record. Oh, uh, it's a nice question. Because this the device he used to have the he has this the blinking sensor, so uh, and I don't know why I I, I suppose it's because uh, I updated my my operational system, but the blink blink system is doesn't work anymore. You know, it don't work anymore. But uh, you can get this data when you blink it. He just say blink it, blink. It. I I I did. Um, Artistical uh, residence in 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 France uh, was in time that they you have the Sarko elections in Sarkozy won the the election and the people the from this I was in Marseille and the people from Marseille was very against Sarkozy so the installation we did was something like I have a projection of the 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 sea, a picture of city of Marse Marseille and when people blink it becomes a face of Sarkozy. When you open your eyes, Sarkozy keeps like uh, uh, one millisecond and back again to the to the city, and people keeps with the the rest the residual, the residual image. So sh they could be Sarkozy over Marseille, but doesn't understand where Sarkozy came. You know, just using this blink uh, system. It's it's, uh, it's very cool this this blinking system. But I don't know why it doesn't work anymore. I'm I'm not sure if it's concerned to brainwave in uh, this this sensor. I think it's more concerned to the electrical impulse that you have because you have a, a, a muscle uh, action and it changes the variation. To it's a fast variation, you know. I think I I, I think I'm not I'm not sure what I'm talking to you, but we could discuss with the 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 manufacturers of this device. <laughs> you told me here who yeah, 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 was the one here. That you have brain waves and the muscles as well, you can measure it. So maybe it measures the muscles. Okay, guys, she told me I, I, I just time out. So I thank you very much for for this meeting with you, and and feel free to let's continue this conversation in the bar or in the installation.